So the pinnacle of golf and every golfer's dream is to get to that magical handicap of zero, also known as scratch. To get to this handicap, we all know you need to be very good at golf, but you also need to know just what is the best way to get good at golf. So in this video and series, we're going to find out just how easy it is to get to scratch or just how impossible it might be. This is my journey and this is the road to scratch. Welcome back to the channel guys. For you that don't know, my name's Aaron, also known as The Bear. And today we are down here at Murray Golf Club, my home club. And let me tell you a little bit more about what we're gonna do in this video. For everyone that's been following the channel for a short or long period of time, you will know that I am a questionable three handicap at the best of times. Medal scores, they've not been the most consistent. So the whole point of this series and video is gonna be the road to scratch. Now, it might end up being the road to 12, but we are gonna document my progress throughout the year at various points for your enjoyment, basically. Hopefully, we can show you how easy it is to get to scratch. What we might end up doing is showing you just how easy it is to get to 10. So in this video, we are going to see exactly, first of all, where every golfer is dropping shots, not just me. But then we're gonna quickly grade how that relates to me. And then at the end, we're gonna share exactly the start of my season and just how well that's going. And luckily for you, it's not just one golfer you have the pleasure of sharing that journey to scratch with. We have another. Enter stage left. The man, the myth, the beefcake. 2.5 handicap. How's your confidence going into this season? Right now, the confidence is not very high, I think. The, the rhythm's lost, never played a lot through the winter, but I'm here at the range, ready to go, ready for the challenge. Bring on scratch. As you can see, there's a little thunderstorm brewing in the background, but we're away out in the course to show you exactly where every golfer, regardless of handicap, is dropping shots. Right, so we're down here at Hazelhead in Aberdeen to tell you exactly where every golfer, regardless of ability, is dropping shots. It might be one of these, might be a few of these, or it might be all of them. First up, we're talking tee shots. Now we're here on the short par four, but the most important thing off the tee is position. We're automatically thinking, get the big dog out. But what I'm saying is, why don't we think about hitting another club, finding the fairway, position is the most important part. Give yourself a chance with the next shot. Golf is all about making it as easy as possible for yourself. So let's just hit the fairway. A bit like that. Now what I'm not saying is never hit the driver. All I am saying is there's going to be times when you can let that big dog eat. Just know when they are and when you do hit driver, you don't have to swing yourself off your feet. You don't have to hit a driver 330 yards every time. Lovely. So in terms of practice and what we preach, I'd say this is something that I personally need to work on. Uh, I miss the fairway quite often, as you've probably seen if you've watched the channel before. So. We're going to grade ourselves on a C and we're going to try and work on that this year on the road to scratch. So we've found a short grass, we've got 130 left into the green. Up there, it's surrounded by bunkers short. We now know the miss is long, let's take the club, know your yardages, that's going to miss in the right spot that we can get up and down from. We're between clubs, we've took the wedge, we're going to make sure that we hit it past the pin and we're going to make sure we make par. A little bit like that. Now when it comes to missing in the right spots and for noting my distances again, this is something we're going to have to practice a little bit what I'm preaching here and we're going to have to work on it in this road to scratch. But I'll grade myself around maybe a B minus. I do know that the boys on the channel that play a lot will tell you that my miss is always short right and they're probably right. Now when it comes to around the greens, what I'm saying here is put all the loft you've got in the club away, you don't need it. When it comes to just a small chip, get out a pitching wedge, an eight iron, a nine iron, hit a wee bump and run. never miss. Now what I'm not saying is never use loft in your wedge. There is going to be times where you need to use the loft in your wedge. But remember, here we've got a tough up and down. Over the bunker, where's the good miss? The good miss is long. Forget about the bunker, we want to eliminate that. So let's just head down, trust the wedge, trust the bounce and trust your ability. A 
a little bit like that. Now in terms of work for wedges, I think that the wedge game is still pretty strong. Uh, it's probably the reason that I still am around the, the lower ends of the handicap I am. And I will grade it an A- minus for now. There is still a bit of work to be done, a little bit of consistency, a little bit of shot imagination. But we're happy enough with how it is this season. So now we've found the short grass and all we've got to do is get that tiny little ball to that little hole. Where we're going to improve here is by eliminating the free pat. The weight is so much more important than the line. As long as you can get in that three foot circle every time, you'll most likely tidy up for par. And make sure you always get it around the hole. Patting has always been one of the stronger things in my game, so we're going to rate that as an A and hopefully we can keep it as an A during the season. But now let's head down to the range and find out a little bit more about what we've been working on for the start of the season. So we are down here at Paul Laurie's golf range in Aberdeen. Now hopefully we've got a few things to work through and by the end of this range session we'll know a little bit more of what we're starting the season looking like. But this isn't just work over the course of one single range session. This has been work for the last few months. Over and over again, just hitting balls until we can get them bad shots, not so bad. The time had now come, the first medal of the year. The setting was Murray Golf Club. The temperature was rather cold, but it was time to see if that hard work had paid off. With us today making his YouTube channel debut with those dancing feet, it's our very own Bald Eagle, Big Neely, and we got off to a decent start. We were actually putting for an eagle on the second hole, but unfortunately, it wasn't all plain sailing. On a quick side note before we tell you that final score for the first round back, if you're enjoying this Road to Scratch series and looking forward to it and you'd like to see us do a Break 75 style Every Shot Shown series around golf courses of Scotland then you know what to do, hit that like button, get this video to 300 likes and we will do that. And of course, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. It really helps us out more than you can imagine. Okay and that has brought us to the end of the video, the first round score of the year, 75. Not too good, not too bad, plenty to work on, but Beef's first round score of the year, 74, so he's already winning the race. We will continue on our road, on our journey. If you want to be invested in that journey, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. It helps us out more than you can imagine. We've got plenty more videos for you to watch. Why not go and have a look at one of them? The journey has begun. Golf's all about making it as easy as possible for yourself, so why not replicate that? Now I need to do it again. 